Taste me how to duck, taste me, taste me how to duck. We don't have a Goodwill where I live. My parents and I were just like, you know what? Let's drive a few hours and go to a Goodwill. Three, actually, in one day. And it was honestly the most fun I've had in a long time. I'm gonna show you some stuff that we got from there. I had some coffee and I'm like off the walls, sister. Ever since I filmed that James Charles video, I have been saying sister. It is like a literal virus. I spent about $100 at three places and I got this much. One of the t-shirts I got is, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I'm going to be trying them on, doing a little DIY part. I'm trying to get more fashionable. I'm trying, okay? I was taking pictures today on portrait mode. Sis, sis, you need some help. It's already cold. Ugh. Don't judge what I get. Don't do it. First, I got this. I heart Sydney Australia t-shirt to make me look like I went to Australia when I've never been, much less more than a thousand miles away from here. Next I got this late night, late, I can't, I'm trying to read it backwards, but I can't do it. Late show with David Letterman shirt. Never watched the show in my life, never, but I just thought it was cool. Most of the t-shirts are $2, one to $2. Next I got this already cropped basketball tee. I am almost completely sure my sister had this exact shirt a long time ago. They already did the DIY work for us, so thanks girly, whoever did that. And then since we were in Tennessee, I got this AFC South Division blah 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 champions. I hate myself. I'm sure the people that go there to actually get clothes are like, here comes another trying to be trendy girl going to get some weird t-shirts that people are gonna stare at her for oh my god a trigger warning so i got this shirt keep in mind i have never been to california i wasn't alive in 1989 and i also didn't pay attention as well as i probably should have in history class i'm gonna cl do a close-up on it all shook up the great san francisco earthquake of 1989. The first thing that came to mind, I was like, okay, no one must have lost their lives in this earthquake because why would they make a t-shirt? To say the least, I am not wearing this t-shirt. I don't know if there's like a reason behind it. I don't know why someone made a t-shirt about a tragedy, but no, we're gonna throw that away. Okay, we're gonna move on. The next shirt I got just says Georgia, fun. The next shirt I got just says Boston, fun. Wonder why I got it. Uh, I thought of Jenna Marbles and Niall, two of my favorite people. I got another shirt. This one is uh, 1998, that's pretty cool. I like that one, cause it's all. Okay, this shirt, I was crying. I ran over to my mom, I was like, look at this shirt, mom. <laughs> look at this shirt. You're a real 90s kid if you remember this movie. The Perfect Score. I'll try to find a clip of the movie here or something. One last shot at The Perfect Score. I have an idea. You want to steal the answers to the test. A lot of kids struggle with the SAT. That doesn't justify thievery. It's from 2004. This is like a gold mine for me. I love finding like old movie shirts that like you can never get anywhere else. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Like I'm just quirky like that. And then I got this shirt. Um, I'm pretty sure this is from Demi Lovato's show in Nashville probably because it was near Nashville. I didn't get to go to it but. And then I got this Spider-Man t-shirt because I'm a spider girl. Tobey Maguire is bae. Andrew Garfield is bae. I haven't seen the new one, but the first six movies, were there six? There were three and then there were... Hmm. 
This is a Coolio shirt. Super cool. Like it came cropped. Don't have to DIY that one. Beach tag. Lion training fitness specialist because I want to confuse people. People will think I'm on Demi Lovato's tour. People will think I'm Spider-Man. So I just wanted to confuse them some more and make them think I'm a fitness specialist. But when they look at me, they'll be like, oh, never mind. I got a lot of these shirts from the men's section because that's what the girlies do these days. Like polo, but it doesn't have the little polo thing, which I, oh, it does have the polo thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. it. I don't know. Maybe not. I might just give this to my dad. I don't know. For my non-existent boyfriend. And then a UPS shirt. Why? Only God knows. I like orange. <laughs> I'm just an orange gal. I love orange and I love yellow because I'm just a bright ball of sunshine. <laughs> okay. This is a men's sweater. Cute. Thanks. Look at those 90s vibes. Look 90s vibes only. I'm sure the baby boomers really appreciate us stealing their style and thinking it's something new. Okay, so I got this shirt. I'm not too sure about it. It's one shirt, but it looks like one of those moments. I think I might crop, but keep the long sleeves. Would that be a, would that be a vibe? And then last but not least, I got the gold mine, at least to me. Maybe you could buy this anywhere else, but this shirt was $5. Look at this. I'm trying to be a trendy girly. I think my parents said it looked like more 70s. Looks pretty. So that's all I got at the first place. Oh, all I got. Where's the other bag? my <laughs> Shopping at Goodwill wears you out. It's, it's a workout, honestly. This was made the entire day. And I have some live footage of me doing that, pretending to do that actually. This looked like a brand new shirt, that's why I got it. It's a Jackson General shirt. I've been to a few of their games, quite a few of their games, so it's not just me trying to be, oh, I like baseball. I've actually been to quite a few of their games. So, Date me, boys. And then I got this. It has like some stains and some questionable spots on it. I put it back actually, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it because I'm trendy. She tried. She really did try. Then I got this shirt. That's what I'm gonna do with it. Crop it. Yay. I went to Urban Outfitters one time, and they had a shirt almost exactly like this. $50. Wow, this looks awful. Got an Ole Miss shirt. Cool. It's like that. Then I got this Geek Squad shirt. Because <gasps> I'm the Geek Squad. <gasps> what if I wore this shirt and had this collar coming? And then these two my parents bought, but they didn't fit them or like they just didn't want them. So I was like, I'll take it. Spokane, Washington. Long sleeve shirt, PJ action probably. It's an old Gap shirt, you know, your typical thing that happens. And then, no, uh, I'm gonna be like Madison. What? I don't watch the X Factor, but One Direction was on the X Factor. This is like kind of One Direction merch, not really. And then I don't know what this is. I just thought it was kind of cool, you know, kind of cool. The lady working there was like. Um, have you been to Ireland? And I was like, no, I just like Ireland. <laughs> no reason why I like Ireland, I just like it. Little did she know. This was six bucks and I was like, wow, these are usually like at least 20 bucks. So I got this, the Vanderbilt. Um, it's a college in case in Tennessee. People will also think I go to college at many different schools. North Carolina. I thought this was a cool like vintage like <laughs> kind of snatch. YMCA. Just thought that aesthetic was kind of cool like got the aesthetic going on. And I got this huge sweatshirt. Huge. It's very long. It, it just has a battery company of NASCAR because I like batteries. 
I stand batteries. I'm shook over this. I hope this fits and looks good because I'm shook. It's like a that's it's just what it is. Sweatshirt. See, you could also use it as a blanket. 